Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is will third party software that we have loaded onto our edge router, our ubiquity edge router, will it survive a firmware upgrade? And we're going to have to look at this in two videos. And the reason we're going to look at it in two videos is, first of all, the router that I've got here, and you can see that I've got a zero tier interface installed and we are connected out to our zero tier network. The reason that we've got to do this in two videos is because we're going to upgrade from Edge Router X SFP 2.0.9-hotfix4 .hot, uh, to the latest release of Edge OS, which is the Edge Router 2.0.9-hotfix.7. And then in the near future, Ubiquity is going to be releasing Edge OS 3.0. So it's in EA. We can't really talk too much about it besides that it exists and it's out there. But we are anxiously awaiting the release. And it would be funny if it actually released the day that I do this. But a little bit of background about this project. So I have a client who has some devices that have to use a very specific IP range and we are going to replicate each edge router as a node thousands of time, thousands of times. And we have centralized servers that these endpoints are going to send data to. But the way that this is going to work is this router is going to be shipped out to the customer and we have no control over the network or the ISP, right? So this router is going to be embedded in another network. And then the devices are going to be plugged into it that need to communicate with the central server. So what we're doing is we're using zero tier to create that, that connection and do the routing. Uh, so it doesn't matter who the ISP is. It doesn't matter whether they're double natted CG nat. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the, it doesn't matter what the subnet of the, the local LAN is that we're in because we are going to get a DHCP address from their network. And then we are going to be using obscure uh, subnets to do some of this, this transfer. So could we run into, you know, a, a 10.253.0.1 slash 29 at one of these places? Maybe, but these are smaller businesses that likely don't have IT departments. So, uh, and maybe they've hired somebody, but more than likely they're going to be on, you know, a 192, 168 dot something, maybe, um, maybe a 10.10.10.10, who knows, but the way that we're building out our, our remote subnets, we've planned to not have, you know, very much overlap. And some of these networks will be smaller, like a slash 29. If we have one of the sites, it's a slash 29, that's going to be a pretty big network for this deployment. So most of these are probably going to be like slash thirties. So, um, we're still working through the process, but this is part of the process, making sure that zero tier is going to survive an upgrade. So I'm going to have to perform this test twice. So you'll get to see another video on this when edge OS 3.0 is released. But right now we're going to go from edge router X SFP version 2.0.9 dash hotfix.4 to the dot seven. So I went out I downloaded it. So to upgrade the operating system, we go to the system tab. And then what we do is we hit uh, upgrade system image and we select that system image. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right. So I selected uh, that file and it is now going to upload and then it's going to prompt me to reboot the router. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video again. When that prompt comes up, I'll show you that we'll reboot and we'll see if zero tier survived. We'll be right back. All right. So you can see now the router is telling us that we need to reboot. So we're going to go ahead and do that and we'll see if zero tier has survived this upgrade. So let's go ahead and reboot and yes, I'm sure. And we'll be right back. All right. So it is our moment of truth with the router rebooted. Let's see what happens. We're going to log in here. And we successfully upgraded to 2.0.9 hotfix 7. And my zero tier network 
did not survive. That interface is gone. Let's see if it is in here at all. Nope, it is totally gone. Okay, so let's open a command line real quick. And let's do a sudo ifconfig and see if it's in here. It is totally not in here. So uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so zero tier one script is still there. So the software is there, but the interface is gone. So I'm going to have to repair the interface and figure out the next step to make sure that this doesn't happen in production. And that's, that's why we were testing this. So if you've done this before, I'm going to have to do some research. But if you've done this before and it's survived an update, now at least in the zero tier instructions, we do know that they have us put files certain places. So the files survived that upgrade but with the interfaces not surviving if you've done this let me know down below if you've got a link or whatever it would very much be awesome us collaborating that way but uh i'm going to do some research on this because i've got to figure this out because i can't upgrade thousands of routers through uisp which is what we're going to use for the router management platform and then have the zero tier interfaces just disappear. So I've got to work on that piece, but there's our quick answer. Did it survive? Partially. The config files and everything are still there. It looks like the, the program is still there, but our interface did not survive. So I got to figure that piece out. If you've got comments or questions about this, let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links. And if you need IT consulting, if you've got projects like this that need to get done, head on over to Willie Howe, fill out, uh, hit willyhow.com, fill out the contact form on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Come on over to community.willyhow.com, sign up. We're building a great community over there. Ask your questions, share your expertise. It doesn't matter which side of the equation you're on, you can be on both. Um, but come on over and join the community. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.